we're going to talk about SpaceX's trip to the moon and what they need to do to make it happen. Tourism is a huge global industry and growing larger every year. Will it soon include trips to space? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. In 2014, the world spent $1.2 trillion traveling to other countries. In 2012, the number of tourists in the world surpassed 1 billion people for the first time. There are so many awesome places to visit in this world, like the Ice Hotel in Sweden, made entirely of ice and snow every year, or an African safari where you can observe nature's most iconic animals in the wild, such as lions, elephants, giraffes, rhinos, and cheetahs. And in 2018, it may be possible to once again tour outer space. The last space tourist was Guy Laliberte, who flew on the Soyuz rocket to the International Space Station on September 30th, 2009. After the space shuttle retired, the Russian Soyuz was the only rocket and spacecraft available to send astronauts to the International Space Station, so there was no more room to send tourists um, into space anymore. But SpaceX is looking to fill that gap. On February 27, 2017, Elon Musk announced that SpaceX will fly two private citizens around the moon in 2018. It is not known at this time who these citizens are, but they've already spent a lot of money on a deposit for the trip. And the actual cost of the trips isn't known yet, but some believe that it's going to cost between $433 million to $1.3 billion. The tourists will be launched from the Falcon Heavy rocket on board the Dragon spacecraft on a week-long trip around the moon. It will be a 400,000 mile journey. The tourists will skim the surface of the moon and take a long loop around the moon before returning to Earth. And according to Space.com, the Dragon spacecraft will work autonomously and the tourists will not pilot the craft and they're only going to be trained for emergency situations. The moon trip will happen once the SpaceX delivers NASA astronauts to the International Space Station, which is supposed to happen around mid-2018, and this will successfully complete those missions um, and will essentially approve the Dragon spacecraft for human spaceflight. Another thing that needs to happen is that the Falcon Heavy needs to be working properly. The Falcon Heavy is basically three Falcon 9 rockets strapped together, and once it's successfully launched, it will be the most powerful active rocket on the planet capable of launching 140,000 pounds to low earth orbit. The Falcon Heavy is scheduled for its demo flight in November of 2017. The Falcon Heavy initial launch has been pushed back many times since 2013 so everything is lined up for the demo launch and as you can see here this footage um, is of the center core um, test back in May. I can't wait to see what happens with the launch. Since this is the first time that all three boosters will be tested together, Elon Musk has low expectations on how the launch will go. The three boosters strapped together will include 27 engines firing all at the same time, and this will triple the vibrations on the while it's launched. So Musk doesn't know what to expect, and he doubts that the Falcon Heavy will reach or uh, will reach orbit. He says if if the rocket launches far enough to not damage the launch pad then that will be a success in his opinion so the estimated timeline of what to expect involving the falcon heavy is the demo flight coming up in november then there's a saudi arabian communication satellite scheduled for early 2018 after that there will be an eelv certification launch which is a technical term for um, spacex proving that to the air force that the Falcon Heavy is fit for launch and that is penciled in for April 30th, 2018 and then finally the moon trip in late 2018. Considering Elon Musk's low expectations for the Falcon Heavy's demo launch, I do not see them keeping that timeline as scheduled right now. Um, you know, SpaceX will have to analyze whatever problems arise during this demo flight. They're going to have to find solutions and then retest it. To make sure to um, see if those solutions work so when this moon trip will actually happen i can only guess so if i were to guess I, I would push the trip back the moon trip back two years to be safe out to 2020 um, and i think this would safely give spacex enough time to fix the any issues that they have with the falcon heavy 
So that's my guess. But I want to hear from you guys. When do you think the moon trip will happen? Do you think it will happen when in 2018, like they say? Or who do you think are the secret billionaires signing up for this moon trip? Is it Oprah, Mark Cuban, Steven Spielberg? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, artificial intelligence, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.